And for me, see a top class player when we know when trust is on his game, it's unstoppable. And when it's having a so so game, it is what it is. So let's not go overboard overly criticizing his players. Both him, both uh Riz Nelson and Trossard are good impact players for Arsenal. They can be playing elsewhere. Trust me, they could be playing now. You might argue they're not playing with uh, the club at the level of Arsenal, but they can be starting for other clubs not too far away from Arsenal. So let's I'm not saying that you welcome and welcome to the present if you're just joining me for the first time do me a very, very kind favor by liking the video very, very important uh subscribe to subscribe and make sure you turn on those bell notifications so let's discuss mr reese nelson he looked very bright yesterday against ph in uh in high he was looking bright he was dribbling he was passing he was driving he was carrying i like i like what i saw yesterday uh, that's not the first time I've seen him do that this season. Even in a game we lost against West Ham in the Carabao Cup, you saw Rhys Nelson looking very bright. I like the fact that he likes to take on players, likes to carry the ball. He takes a lot of risk. He tracks back. He, he's has doing his fair share. I get it. Saka and Martin are the first choice. Uh, he should be coming more often uh, than none, but uh, it's still a long season. So I expect Ateta to give him more game time, especially for me. It's the last night of month against PSV, he needs more game time. Saka and Martin cannot play all the games. Now, we know Trussell comes in here and they will talk about Trussell in a, in a minute, but Riz Nelson deserves uh, to be playing more game more game time. We saw, even before he signed the contract he signed last, last time, there were a lot of other clubs who wanted to get him. So he needs to get more game time. And Ateta, we know Ateta likes to be very, very... Uh, how would be the right term? See, Ateta likes to be fixated on his first 11 most of the time, but you cannot play a long rolling season with just your first 11. So I, I expect him to consider uh, more than often Riz Nelson in his team. Saka, he wants to play all the games, but they cannot. Physically, it's very demanding, plus the commitment for their, for their national teams. They cannot do all that. So it's high time we give uh, Nelson more games. He has quality. Now, the quality might not be of Saka and Martinelli, but he's not that far off. He's not that gaping that you cannot actually throw in uh, Nelson into some of these games. Now, let's go to Trossard. Trossard had a so so game yesterday. That's Trossard for you. Sometimes Trossard doesn't have in between sometimes. I won't agree totally. Sometimes when he's good, he's good. And when he's having those one of those games, he's having one of those games. And I think it's unfair for fans to go to his social media pages and begin to insult him. Let's not do that. It's not that he's not the score or so problem with David. As not fans solely, he's now the modern fan thing where you think you have the entitlement, the right to go to these players' pages and haul insults on general abuse. I don't like that. Yes, you can criticize a player's performance in isolation or if they're not doing well, but insulting them, forcing them to turn off their comment section, let's not get to that level. I understand you cannot uh, extinguish the fact that there are some degenerates amongst us in society, but come on, let's reduce it to the barest minimum. Most of us should not be indulging in such behavior. Yes, he didn't have a great game yesterday, but he had some great games. Like, no player has a great game all the time. Most players are not world class or top, top class. Most players are top class and average. And for me, see a top class player, when we know when Trossard is on his game, it's unstoppable. And when it's having a so-so game, it is what it is. So let's not go overboard overly criticizing his players. Both him, both uh, Riz Nelson and Trossard are good impact players for Arsenal. They can be playing elsewhere. Trust me, they could be playing. Now, you might argue they're not playing with uh, the club at the level of Arsenal, but they can be starting for other clubs not too far away from Arsenal. So let's. I'm not saying that you're exempted from criticisms. You can criticize them in good faith. But abuse and insult, that's a no no. No, no, I'm not. There is no, we are not going to accept that. Come on, let's grow up. Most of you at your jobs are not always 100% of the time. Does that mean your employer should be criticizing you all the time? Come on, the way that your employers give you and show you grace sometimes, show these players some grace, especially if they've shown that they do more good than bad. They perform more good than have a social game. So let's stop it. Like, let's not bully or cyber bully uh, trust her. Is one of our own, and let's respect that. So for uh, Chris Nelson and Trossard, good for me, very, very good uh, uh, impact players, which Ateta calls them. 
impactors. They are called them impactors. They are good impact players for Arsenal. And it's a long season. We'll be needing them. Saka Martinelli cannot prosecute the, the long season we're going to have. So we'll be needing these two players. So I like the fact that Atta gave them time to play yesterday. I think they played 90 minutes. That is good. So that when we need them, they'll be adequately match fit and match ready to come in and impact and help us reach our desired and aspirations of goals in terms of winning the league uh, or the Champions League or the FA Cup, which is still available for us to win. So, guys, let, 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 let's stop the habit of insulting players and support our players. Uh, I'm not so saying tolerate them, they're horrible. No, you can criticize them in good faith. But most of the time, these players are not horrible. They are very, very good players. So, mm -hmm. don't forget to strike a like on the video. Mm -hmm. And if you disagree with my observations and commentary, I uh, can kindly leave them in the comment section respectfully. You don't need to trade words respectfully. And it's not an echo chamber. You can disagree with me. There's no, there's no problem. But make sure you can do it that respectfully. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. You're yet to subscribe. And lastly, make sure you turn on those notification bells. Very, very important. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. <music>